بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So let us take six words Okay don't feel shy Still you know because we have been learning the lectures throughout our life with folded hands uh, People so feel sometimes uneasy Just it is and you don't have to stretch your hand don't have to poke your neighbor if you're sitting in a group just you know show it like this close to your hand and don't stretch this part just keep this part close to your body and then just move your hands like this okay so repeat after me we will learn we are learning six words which occur in the Quran 1295 times and inshallah within six minutes we will learn it so can you repeat it the way I say it okay Huwa he. Show your hand. Huwa Use your hands. Use TPI. Huwa he. Huwa he. Huwa he. Huwa he. Hum they. Hum they. Anta you. Anta you. Anna I. Anna I. Antum you all. Antum you all. Nahnu we. Nahnu we. Can you do it once again? Let's do it two more times. Repeat after me. Huwa he? Huwa he? Hum they? Hum they? Anta you? Anta you? Anna I? Anna I? Antum you all? Antum you all? Nahnu we? Nahnu we? Once again. Huwa he? Huwa. Hum. They. Hum. They. Anta. You. Anta. You. Anna. I. Anna. I. Antum. You all. Antum. Antum. You all. Nahnu. We. Nahnu. We. Last time. Huwa. He. Huwa. He. Hum. They. Hum. They. Anta. You. Anta. You. Anna. I. Anna. Antum, you all. Antum, you all. Nahnu, we. Nahnu, we. MashaAllah. Now, can you pause and teach your neighbor? Just repeat after this, looking at the book. Okay. Now, let us take the second cycle. You translate, and I will just say the Arabic words. Huwa, he, hum, they. With actions, please. Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. So for plural, I'm making a heavy sound, and do that so you have a different registry, different, you know, connection to say these words. Again, translate. Huwa, he, hum, they, Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. Once again, Huwa, he, hum. They, Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. Last time, translate with actions. Huwa, he, hum, they, Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. MashaAllah. Now in the third cycle, you see we have not covered even, I mean we have not even taken two minutes yet. So let us continue. Now in the third cycle, I will say it in Arabic in pairs like who are whom and you have to repeat it with actions. Don't forget the actions. Okay, repeat after me. Who are whom? Who are whom? Anta Anna. Anta Anna. Antum Nahnu. Antum Nahnu. Who are whom? Who are whom? Anta Anna. Anta Anna. Antum Nahnu. Let's repeat two more times. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta ana. Anta ana. Antum nahnu. Antum nahnu. Do it in three different tones, okay? Huwa hum. Anta ana. This is the most important for speaking. And then in a heavy voice for plurals. Antum nahnu. Okay, repeat after me in Arabic again. Two more times. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta ana. Anta ana. 
أنتم نحن أنتم نحن last time هو هم هو هم أنت أنا أنت أنا أنتم نحن أنتم نحن ما شاء الله in the last cycle and still we may have not have taken even three minutes or four minutes but I said six minutes six words so don't feel that we are doing too much it's very simple exercise so now in the last cycle can you do it with me okay bismillah with me slowly أنا أنتم نحن ما شاء الله can you now repeat with your friend or teach your friend بسم الله علم ما شاء الله we have learned six words which occur in the Quran 1295 times and if you have time take the workbook and write these words also pause and write the words right now so it will be very strongly registered let us continue i would say isn't it easy isn't it interesting simple every grammar lesson will be like this and it will show you how close you got to the quran instead of just you know saying that these are the ma error pronouns and we'll we'll say he they you i you all and we and this occurs in the quran 1295 times mashallah out of 78000 just cut 1295 as simple as that Okay, now we will use these six words in spoken Arabic. Before we do that, we need to learn just two words. One of one of the two is well known to you. First one is man. Man means who. Min is from. A'udhu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. I seek refuge in Allah from the shaytan. But man means who. And the first question in the grave is man rabbuka. Who is your rabb? So man means who and Muslim you know Muslim and the plural of Muslim is Muslimun that's all so let us practice now we learned who are whom so I'm asking who is he man who are in Arabic you don't have to say is who he alas that's it no need of extra words so man who are who is he so can you and, and in an answer you will say who are Muslim he Muslim that means he is a Muslim and similarly I will ask you man whom who are they whom Muslim on they Muslims that means they are Muslims simple okay so can you answer me man who are who are Muslim man whom Muslim. 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 Once again, man who are who are Muslim. Man whom Muslim. Muslim. Again, can you answer me last time? Man who are who are Muslim. Man whom whom Muslim. Mashallah, very simple. Can you ask your neighbor ask your friend and teach him bismillah okay mashallah in the beginning you may find little bit hesitation and difficulty in speaking these sentences but don't worry open the book and read them and then ask and practice it and that way it will really you know stick in your minds okay we learned man huwa who is he huwa muslim he muslim similarly now we will take anta and ana all right this is very important because this part of spoken arabic so we learned anta ana antum nahnu so i will say man anta who you very simple not too many words ana i muslim i muslim i am a muslim man antum who you all nahnu we Muslim Muslimun Muslims very simple okay so can you answer me in Arabic man anta ana muslim ana 
مسلم من انتم نحن مسلمون نحن مسلمون وانس اجين من انت انا مسلم انا مسلم من انتم نحن مسلمون نحن مسلمون لاست تايم من انت انا انا مسلم من انتم نحن مسلمون ما شاء الله كان يو تيتش Now let us take some additional interesting information. When you do SMS in English, so for example, are you coming? Instead of A R E, you just write R. Y O U, you just write U. But you know, Arabic is interesting. It has built-in short forms like Wa is and, Fa is so, A is what. And Arabs don't write even hams, you know, fatha or zabar. They just know it. So just wow means an. In fact, most of the repeatedly used words are written with just one letter. There are so many letters in Arabic which have meanings, and no space is required between them. You know, between this and the next. For example, wa huwa. There is no space. Wa space huwa. Okay, so it saves space. It is brief. It is easy to read, easy to write. Mashallah. So wahua actually means wa plus hua. So don't say I have not learned this word. This word is new. No, you already learned it. Similarly, wahum is an is not a new word. You already learned it. Wa means and that you have to learn. Wa means and wahum and they. Okay, can you translate with actions? Wahua. And he, wa hum, and they, wa anta, and you, wa ana, and I, wa antum, and you all, wa nahnu, and we. Once again, wa hua, and he, wa hum, and they, wa anta, and you, wa ana, and I, wa antum, and you all, wa nahnu, and we. Teach. Similarly, we can have fa hua. Fa means so. Fahua is not a new word. Fa plus hua. Fahua, so he. Fahum, so they. Fa anta, so you. Fa ana, so I. Fa antum, so you all. Fa nahnu, thus we, so we. Thus or so, it's the same. All right. Lastly, you may say, oh, you didn't teach those 14 forms in Arabic, you know, hua, huma, hum, hiya. هما هنا أنت أنتما أنتم أنتي أنتما نح أنتنا أنا نحن I would say we picked the most commonly occurring ones. Let us go step by step. We will learn dual forms and feminine gender forms later, insha Allah. And when Allah says يا أيها الذين آمنوا, O you who believed, or O you who believe, it means both males and females. And dual forms come very rarely in the Quran and when they come we can learn them easily.